So the Republicans want to pass a policy in Wisconsin that says you can't disrupt speakers on UW campuses. That's right, you can't. They'll take you out. People say, what about free speech? What about the right to heckle? Well, you can still heckle on the sidewalk or you get a permit on the street. And there could be a constitutional question about whether you can heckle inside the building. It's a state agency of the university. 44% of the instructional cost of University of Wisconsin campuses comes from taxpayers. About 20% of the overall costs come from taxpayers. But they still can regulate. As a reporter, I was frustrated constantly. I wasn't allowed to cover caucuses in the legislature. They said they were closed. I couldn't cover meetings after school board meetings or county board meetings at times because they said they were in closed meetings. I couldn't go with my camera into the U.S. Capitol in 1998 because they said I couldn't bring a camera inside the Capitol. No, they, they can regulate a lot of stuff. As a kid, I would drive on this private drive on my high school parking lot along the tennis court to go out to a road closer to my house. One time, a cop was there at the end of the private drive. Again, it's on high school grounds. He said, nope, you got to go back to the, to the entrance. This is a private drive. And I said, well, who owns it? Who owns the private drive? We're on the high school grounds. Don't the taxpayers own the drive? <laughs> he goes, I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to tell you, you got to go back. Point of it is, you, they can regulate you. That's right, they can. If you, if you want to make noise during a speech, they can say, no, you have to go. Just like a, a comedy club, when people heckle, they take them out. Uh, you know, that's what happens. You can govern the rules of any kind of public or private institution because somebody's always in charge. Now, you can go to court and say, do I have a right to heckle at this event? Uh, and the judges can decide. Who knows what the courts will do? Your best chance is in the courts. But I'll tell you, I wish I could have done a lot of things when I was in the media and they told me I couldn't do, couldn't have access to close uh, reports by the DA's office because they wanted to protect the innocent. Uh, free speech, I thought, was always challenged by these people. But life isn't fair and uh, you don't have an absolute right to say or shout what you want without somebody stopping you. And if you don't like it, you're going to have to go to court. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tubig and his staff can read your kitchen, your bathroom, your basement, your staircase, and make your home feel just like home. Talking about this and more tomorrow at 8 on The Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com.